Let's get started with Clerk Authentication for React. We're going to build a Vite React application from the ground up. There's also framework-specific SDKs, like for Next.js, React Router, Tanstack Start, and whatnot. But in this video, we're going to focus on vanilla React. So the first thing that we would want to do is to create a Vite application. Let's copy this into our terminal. This is going to create a new React application using Vite and the React TS template. Let's open this up using our code editor. And there we have our new application. Let's go back to the docs. Let's install Clerk React package. I'm going to copy the code. Let's paste in. This is going to add Clerk React package. The next step is to set our Clerk API key. For this, we need a new Clerk application. Let's name this Clerk React. Now here I can select React and it gives me the same similar setup as what we have in the documentation. Select your React application and get your publishable key. Include a .env.local to also paste in this new Vite Clerk publishable key we just copied. Next step is to import the publishable key into our application using uh, meta helpers from Vite. So I'm going to go to my main.tsx and here I'm going to just import my publishable key. And if it doesn't exist, I'm going to throw a new error. Next step, I need to wrap my entire app with a clerk provider that I get from the package. So let's just copy these two lines going back to our main.ts. I'm going to replace this with clerk and I'm going to just import this from clerk react. Now, what I need to pass into my Clerk provider is the publishable key. We have already passed this here, reading that environment variable that we defined up top. So let's add a header to our application that renders dropping components from Clerk. The signed in and signed out or control components, they conditionally render the children based on the state of authentication. So let's copy this header component. Let's remove everything. And with that, we should be able to create our first user, start our dev server, pmpm. PM dev. If I hit sign in, this will take me to a clerk hosted sign in page. Down in the caption, there's a link to a longer video where I explain how you can create your custom sign in pages instead of using the hosted one. So definitely check that out. Let me sign in. I'm now logged in. You can see my avatar and by clicking on it, you have the user drop down menu to manage accounts, to sign out and whatnot. Going back to my user dashboard or clerk dashboard, you, I can see that there's a user here. I can also go to the tab for the user. And now with that, I've added authentication to my vanilla React application building on top of it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.